it's the only access method for some of our pupils. They can't use anything else. So it's either eye gaze or nothing, and eye gaze just opens up that big wide world of opportunities for lots of our pupils. And it's really irreplaceable as well. It's, it's not eye gaze or, it's eye gaze or nothing. I remember the first time that a lot of our pupils have used the eye gaze because their faces light up. They just start accessing things straight away with ease. It's just a eureka moment really when the child starts accessing it so easy and so intuitively and so naturally. Because it doesn't matter how far they get on in school sometimes, when they go home they're still the same pupils. All of our pupils who are using eye gaze are severely physically disabled, so they can't access the usual things we do, like keyboards, mice. So eye gaze just gives them that direct feed from their eyes to the computer. The eye gaze has enabled the kids just to play and be themselves and have fun. Parents have watched them using it. They can see their kids choosing things, making things, creating things, communicating. I mean, didn't think that was ever possible.